the 13th anniversary event. It's almost time for our 13th anniversary celebration. Get details on the events you'll be participating in to earn a new T6 ship. As Star Trek Online completes its 13th year representing the Star Trek universe, we are pleased to kick off the festivities for our anniversary celebration starting on PC on January 24, 2022 and continuing until February 23, 2022. Console dates will be announced at a later date. All of the usual activities will contribute toward your daily progress in the event, eventually earning your way toward the grand prize, a Tier 6 ship. Keep reading to reveal what activities and prizes await those who join us to celebrate the 12th anniversary. The grand prize for this event will be a brand new Tier 6 ship, revealed tonight at 4.30 Pacific Time on a new 10 Forward Weekly. You can watch on our Twitch channel or our Facebook page. Part of the anniversary update will be several brand new activities that will be a part of this event. Look for more information about them, soon. Activities New Episode, Fujiwara Effect, 2 Points Episode, Eye of the Storm, 2 points. New, TFO, Birdcage, 2 points. TFO, Iupiter Aratus, 2 points. New Patrol, Kanshu Kaibit, 1 point. New Patrol, Jupiter Station Showdown, 1 point. Omega Particle Stabilization, 1 point. Remember that earning additional daily progress also grants you scaling dilithium or bonus rewards, after you have claimed the grand prize. Players unable to find the time to complete the event, or interested in rushing to complete their progress, will have the opportunity to purchase the remainder of their daily progress using Zen at any time. The base price for this buyout will be discounted based on the amount of daily progress you have already accrued. Omega Molecule Stabilization Game Q is up to his annual shenanigans. He will once again be rewarding captains for stabilizing Omega particles found in various social zones in Star Trek Online. Talk to Q to get the mission Omega Stabilization, daily, and you will be given three zones to visit where you must stabilize an Omega particle by playing a minigame. The chosen zones will change periodically, inviting players to explore the vast expanses of space in order to complete this challenge. The minigame itself is simple, Omega molecules will fall in from the left in one of four channels. Captains will move the capture device into the correct channel as the molecule hits the right-hand line. The more molecules you capture, the more Omega molecules you'll safely dissipate, and the more points you will score. Q doesn't care how many points you score, just that you complete the mini-game in order to receive credit for his daily mission. Doing so will grant you daily progress if you have not already earned it for the day, as well as the other standard rewards associated with this daily mission. The score received from the mini-game does influence your rewards, however. The more points you score, the better chance you have at scoring better quality Omega Particle remnants which can be used with the RAND system to craft special Omega Particle tech upgrades. Omega traces come in the three different colors of the Omega nodes themselves. Using the RAND system you can combine one of each trace into an Omega Sliver. You can then combine three Omega Slivers into an Omega Shard, and three Omega Shards into an Omega Fragment. Three Omega Fragments can then be combined into an Omega Tech Upgrade which costs no dilithium to apply, and supplies a massive dose of technology and research points to whatever item it is applied to. Alternately, two Omega Fragments can be combined with varying amounts of refined dilithium to produce, mark, and, rarity, variations of the Omega upgrade. These variants focus entirely on improving item mark or rarity, respectively, making them ideal for players seeking specific avenues of upgrading their equipment. Completing the minigame will always score you a single Omega trace at the very least. The better you score, the greater your chance to win Omega slivers, shards, or even fragments. Beginning with this year's update, all Omega materials will be changed to bind to account on pickup, rather than being tradable with other players. However, refinement techniques have improved since the previous event, so rewards from the minigame will be a bit better, especially for those who score fewer points. New Party Popper It wouldn't be the anniversary without a brand new Party Popper to earn. The 13th anniversary version of our annual toy device takes the grand, cosmic power of Jur and shrinks it down to an itty-bitty party horn. We'll see you at the party. Thank you for watching and until next time General Washington out.